Welcome back to another bench press mistakes video. Today we're gonna run through the bounce in a bench press. So we've all seen that bro in the gym who's slamming the bar off of your chest. Um, and with every single slam off the chest, it propels that bar back up. Um, are they really lifting that weight or are they just kind of like bouncing it off of their entire body? Um, when I was filming this bro video, I legitimately bruised uh, some of my ribs and sternum while doing um, that bounce. Um, so if, if you're finding that you're bruising after bench press day, you're probably a bouncer. Um, so not in a good way. Um, so we're going to try and minimize that and here's how you can do it. In the bench press, it's fine to descend the bar or bring the bar down to your chest relatively quickly, but we don't want to go so fast that we're out of control. I do see that more in novice lifters than I do in more experienced lifters um, in an effort for them to try and lift more weight. A great variation, awesome for this, would be a tempo bench press where you're doing three seconds on that way down. It helps teach that control, especially to a novice um, lift lifter who is just trying to learn how to control and actually build muscle to lift the weight instead of bounce the weight off their chest. It's not so black and white where you have like a, a huge bounce off the chest and then somebody who comes down and barely touches their chest. It's okay to actually let that bar sink in a little bit to the chest um, so long as you're in control and still lifting that weight, not just springing it. Um, you can kind of look at it like a slingshot effect where it, if it kind of eases its way into your sternum or your chest a little bit, so long as it doesn't completely flatten you out, um, when you go to press back up, you push through your feet and that can help you propel that bar back up to lockout. Um, that's actually useful when you're doing competitive bench press. So to briefly recap, um, if you're slamming that bar off your chest, warning signs could be like you have bruising on your chest or it's actually like hurting you when it's hitting your chest. That means you're probably bouncing it. A great variation to include into your bench press program would be a tempo bench press or even a pause bench press where you're learning how to not let that bar um, flatten you out. So flatten your arch out. You're trying not to do that. Keep that chest tall. Um, letting it sink in a little bit is totally cool. Um, and then you should be lifting that weight. If you feel like you're coming down and you can't actually lift that weight back up without bouncing or propelling it off of your body, um, that means maybe you just don't have the strength to lift that weight yet. So unload the bar a little bit, um, learn how to lift the weight, and that's how you legitimately build some muscle um, over the long term. And don't, just don't be an excessive bouncer off the chest. Uh, with anything, we're trying to avoid these extremes. Um, it's the safest way, you can build longevity that way, um, and ultimately you're actually lifting the weight and not just bouncing it off your chest. That's today's mistake. We will talk to you soon. If you want some of this cool apparel, go ahead and visit our website and shop and you can have it shipped right to your front door. So check it out. Subscribe to the page and like the video. We will talk to you soon. Make sure you let us know what you want to see next and stay tuned.